Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph and asked how you would trace that or how you could draw it from scratch. You can't trace this. Uh, it's garbage of a photograph, but you can draw it pretty easy. And I did it two different ways, showing the wood and having the almost the Mercedes Benz looking logo black. And it's a triangle. So I might have to break this up into two parts. I'm gonna grab the polygon tool. I'm gonna to make a six-sided or a three-sided polygon. I'm going to go to object and convert it to a curve. I'm gonna grab my shape tool. I'm gonna to select all, all the nodes and I'm gonna convert them to a curve. This thing is less than an inch tall. I'm gonna take my nudge factor, say at one, two, five. I'm gonna grab this node and move it up. It's probably not enough. Let's back it up. Let's change our, and be clicked off anything and your nudge distance will come back. Let's go 0.25. Grab your shape tool, grab that node and move it up. And you could play around with this till the cows come home. Now, but we need to move those other sides in, so we're gonna rotate it uh, 120 degrees to get the bottom now to the bottom or the next side, move it up. Rotate it 240 degrees. So I'm just getting a third of it to rotate around because you have to be able to nudge it up. You can't nudge this, because if you nudge this, You'd have to nudge it twice and you'd never get there. See, I'm even having trouble getting it back. So we've got that shape now, as soon as I get it back. And you could play around with this and make the shape better. Now here's the only kind of tricky part. This thing had like six of these shapes in the center and then they have three or four on the outside. Pretty easy. But if you notice my item is at 240 degrees. So let's set it back to zero because it's gonna be a lot easier to figure this out. Let's control D and make a duplicate and move that rotation to the center. Let's rotate it 60 degrees, control D. It was that easy to get that shape. There's our center one. I am going to fill in these petals just so I know which, which one is my center because now we need to make some for the outside. Grab your pick tool, grab this one. Grab the center and move your rotation to this side. Now, here we go again with it already being 180, so let's add 60 and make 240. You know what, I didn't make a duplicate. Control D, 240, I'm adding 60 to it. Control D, Control D, Control D. Grab this one and change the rotation to this node. We're at 60, let's try 120. I didn't make a duplicate, Control D. One eighty. Whoop. See, it ought to be one twenty. I'm sorry, I I typed in the wrong number. There again, I didn't make a duplicate. Control D. One twenty. Control D. Corel will do that every once in a while, or on my laptop. I shouldn't really blame Corel. Control D. I didn't make a duplicate and we're at 240. Now we need to grab that one again, move the node to here, and rotate it three to 300. Control D. It moved my rotation up there. Let me back up here. All right, there's my rotation. I need to move my rotation to here. And I'm going to 
300. Something's going on. I'm not, oh, I might have been hitting a ship. Control D. Whenever it does that, just uh, do it again. Now let's rotate this to 300. Control D, Control D. Grab that one. Let's make a duplicate first, Control D. Move your rotation to here. Let's keep going to make it 120. Control D, then to 120. Control D, Control D. Control D again, but get off of it and Control D. That's what I was doing wrong. I wasn't unchecking it. 240 plus 60 is 300. Control D, Control D. We're almost there, folks. This is kind of a fun project. Control D. Move your rotation to that corner. Make sure it's kind of snaps to the note. 120. Control D and you're done. That fast. Let's move this out of the way for a second. And let's take away that fill. I took away the outline. Let's take away the, the fill. And let's try this. Let's try combining. Didn't really change anything, but we need, we need to rotate this 60 degrees. Well, actually, we need to rotate it 30 degrees. Then I'm going to bring in a control. I need to change this to six. And this is where working in the center page is going to help you. I'm sorry about that. The phone rang and got off pace. So we're not quite big enough. Make it a little bit bigger. And you could play around with this as long as you wanted. You could get all this stuff done before you size it. I mean, this thing is nine inches. So we need to make it smaller to make it for an earring. You know, decide that's still three, that's too big. You know, two, two inches probably gonna be the max. Now let's do this. Let's take our control D and make a duplicate of that guy and move it over. Now you've got two options how you're gonna fill it in. Take your smart fill tool to fill that in and then fill in your pedals. And for the time of the video, I'm not gonna fill them all in, but you get the idea. Or you fill in the triangles. More kind of like the original. Let's do a couple more over here. And I'm just gonna do half of them. So you got two different total look, and really and truly, uh, you'd have to ask a woman or lady's opinion on it. Have one of them, one of the earrings like this, and the other one, the opposite color. Be kind of the same design, but left ear, right ear, be a little different. Anyway, now just a word of warning: if you're going to cut this out. Take your shape, let's see what our nudge factor is. We'll set it on three inches. Take this shape and nudge it out of the way and select all this and left click no line so you don't have any hairline to cut out because you don't want that to ever cut out. I would do the same thing to this. You know, grab the whole thing and put no line, but you need an outline to cut out the outline. So you could get rid of all these outlines this might get, and just make sure there's no outline. Well, what I would do on this particular case, I would left click, right click in red, and do this with your smart fill tool. Fill this in, make sure your smart fill is set on none. Now nudge that up. Now take this, and break it apart and get rid of that center one. Now this will cut out. 
but the ref will not. And you could make it a little bit bigger or have it cut right on the line. Now, I'm not going to show you how to add a, a hoop because anybody that's watched any of my videos can figure that out. Anyway, sorry, a little bit long, but thank you for watching.